What we're here to do is present the other face of the revolution, the one you don't hear about, because in the media, you get presented that it's a dictatorship. The truth is that it's a people's revolution. We just saw that with a recent election that was supported throughout all of Latin America. Today, I'm here representing Haiti Action Committee and also bringing you greetings from sisters and brothers in Haiti, expressing their solidarity with the people of, uh, of Venezuela and saying to them congratulations and congratulations to President Maduro on his elections. And of course, the Venezuelan opposition, as we all expected, are uh, once again denouncing fraud, when in fact we know that Venezuela's elections are some of the most transparent and some of the most democratic elections in the entire world. The Obama administration is interfering in the sovereignty of Venezuela and trying to promote uh, the opposition. And we've seen this pattern of uh, destabilization of these NGOs go in, uh, the whole goal of undermining legitimate governments. We've seen it in Haiti. We now are seeing it in many countries in Latin America. Cirujanos, contadores, abogados, publicistas, arquitectos, profesores, gobernantes, locutores, pastores de pirañas, diagnosticando la historia, enredando ese mañana, van tejiendo telaraña, amarrando las muñecas, entrenando las arañas dentro de nuestra cabeza con la espuma de cerveza, su miel envenenada, un vacío en las barrigas y en la escuela nada, 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 entre la saliva para ahogar ese naufragio de la barca del futuro, pero yo no me contagio, encerrando los colegios. The only country that didn't support it, you can guess, is this country here because again, it doesn't benefit them showing just how real, just how democratic and popular the Venezuelan revolution is. Mi nombre es Porfirio Quintano, como dijo el compañero, soy originario de Honduras. Ahí se ve lo cínico que es el, el imperio norteamericano con sus compañías. Porque, por ejemplo, en Honduras, en 2009 hubo, hubo un golpe de Estado. Y ese golpe de Estado, todas las naciones, casi todos los, los miembros de la OEA protestaron, excepto Estados Unidos y Canadá y otros países. As it is, I have personal hope that because the literacy rate, the health care, the education, everything that has been going on in a steady progression towards equality, is not a step backward that the people of Venezuela are going to be willing to take. They voted for education, they voted for schools, they voted for health care, they voted for infrastructure, they voted to get themselves out of misery, out of poverty. They voted so that their money, the oil money, could be used for the people. That's what their vote is. That's their program to build the country. Y viva Maduro, y viva el pueblo venezolano, y vivan todos los pueblos en lucha, todos los pueblos que luchan por su independencia. Viva la lucha revolucionaria, viva la lucha socialista, viva todo aquel que tiene un sueño. I hope we all can look at our own country and recognize that of everywhere in the world, Chavez in Venezuela are choosing to create a new paradigm. They are choosing to create the kind of community and the kind of place that we as human beings, joyful creators, deserve. Dicando experimentos, mejorando su armamento, falsifican los diplomas y los llenan de argumentos. Fui un pequeño bolchevique, rebelde de escritorio, anunciaron que había muerto y me perdí su velorio. Vi una sábana infinita con semillas de futuro, florecer la primavera. Hoy su fruto está maduro, libertador no azarado, sobre un mal embravecido. Hoy tu fruto está maduro, vamos a repartirlo. Vamos a distribuirlo, dividirlo y expropiarlo para colectivizarlo. Vamos a pavimentarlo, vamos, vamos a sembrarlo y a regarlo y a donarlo sobre una orquídea de fuego para jamás olvidarlo. Distribuirlo, dividirlo y expropiarlo para colectivizarlo. Vamos a pavimentarlo, vamos, vamos a sembrarlo y a regarlo y a donarlo sobre una orquídea de fuego. Uh, so, in fact, the United States position right now to demand 100% audit uh, or a recount uh, is actually really an interventionist process. Shame on the Obama administration. Shame on the U.S. government. Because they don't respect 
They don't respect democracy and the voice of the people. We need to follow the news, be prepared to demonstrate, be prepared to protest our government, demand they recognize the Maduro administration, the legitimacy of this vote, and the sovereignty of the people of Venezuela. Que viva ese pueblo valiente que siempre ha luchado por su independencia. Ahora Venezuela es independiente. Ahora Venezuela es libre. Ahora Venezuela no tiene la bota yanqui en el cuello. Ahora Venezuela tiene voz propia y no tiene que pedir permiso a nadie para poder hablar. So we need to come together, support our sisters and brothers of Venezuela as they are facing this challenge, as they are facing this attack, as they are facing this new form of contra war. So we need to stand strong with them in solidarity and prevent that from happening. Inventores, cirujanos, contadores, abogados, publicistas, arquitectos, profesores.